Welcome back to Sin City Prepping. I was updating our go bags, or 72 hour kits as some people call them, and I figured this would be a good opportunity to go over with you how we put ours together. I have to thank Chris over at City Prepping. I took his go bag checklist, used it as a starting point, and then built out from there. I really like the way that he put everything into modules or categories and made it easy for me to organize and then to work on one thing at a time. I tried not to duplicate things. So if you're EDC, you carry a pocket knife, your firearm, things like that, then they wouldn't be in your bag because you would, should have them on you all the time anyway. So this is just our go bag. It's not going to take into account our firearms, ammo, chest rigs, or any other extra things that you want to have on your body. I think it's hard to go on and buy a go bag with everything in it because half the stuff you may not need. You're going to need other things in it. You may not know how to use the stuff that's in it. Maybe it'll have too much or not enough. And so I think each bag should be customized for the individual that's going to carry it. For instance, it's recommended not to carry over 20 to 25% of your body weight. So for us, we have two bags that are bigger that the guys carry and two smaller ones for the girls. Of the things that we carry that are the same, they're all the same. So if I pull out my sleeping bag, it's going to be the same as Amanda's. The water kits are going to be the same. The fire kits are going to be the same. All right, I've got a couple bags here. So this one's mine. This is the bigger bag. This one weighs in at 40 pounds, which I wish was only 25% of my weight. Anyways, this one is 28 pounds. So we're going to go over mine today. So let's go check out what's in it. Let's go over what we have on the outside of the bag first. This is our first aid kit. We wear a lot of flip-flops here in Vegas, so I don't want to be caught in an emergency with flip-flops. So all of us have shoes or nice boots with our bags and with some nice wool socks. Got a radio holster over here on the side belt loop also and also my knife we have a hatchet with a belt scabbard and then all the bags have hats the girls have some hair ties too and I want to thank the guys over at Stay Loaded uh, they gave my father-in-law a free hat which he ended up passing on to me so thank you to him also we're just training the bill, so I got a rubber band up. All right, let's get in our bag. So this very front part, I have a zipper here. This is gonna be my electronics and stuff for my radio. So I have a load cell in here with all the attachments and charging stuff I need for it have our radio uh, channels. And then I have all my charger stuff for my radio in here, as well as my cables. That's it for that. This compartment is all my, most of my tools. So we have safety glasses, gloves, zip ties. Everyone has a flashlight and a headlamp. Cordage, 550 cord. A lock picking set. Safety glasses. Duct tape. This is that uh, rolled tarred wine. Tarred twine. Cam jams and cord attachments. And then we have some fishing stuff in here. These are automatic reels. A couple hooks. 
little cards. A fishing kit. And they got a little hand saw here. That should be about it in there. Small little compartment up here, just has a compass in it. The main compartment. Alright, we have, we just did this for company. We didn't actually need this for our nutrition, but we just vacuum sealed some oatmeal. Uh, a big tarp. This is a dry bag with all my clothes in it. For food, these are 3,600 calories each. Truly, we'd only need two. I carry an extra one because we also have this. These are about 3,200 calories, if I remember right, in each brick here. And these are little sweet little crackers. This is our sleeping bag. If you are in a colder climate, I want to consider getting a four season bag. But what we did is we have a sleeping bag that goes down to about 50. Then we have a ditty bag that would go over that bag sorry, bivy bag that would go over that bag, which reflects about 70% of your body heat. And to go with that, if you need, need even more, we have our emergency blankets or tarps. They're a thicker one, and they reflect up to 90%. So between this, 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 and our tarp is what we went with instead of the tent or a, hu or a huge sleeping bag. And to get you up off the ground so you're not conducting the cold or the heat, we have a, it's an inflatable sleeping pad. Carry right. some hot chocolate for Evie. This is a spork. And then inside each of these, so Got a bunch of sugar or stevia. I have all my um, like liquid IVs and then coffee. Because if the world's ending, I want my coffee. And then there's two cups in here also. So the girls wouldn't have to carry this. This is just the one that the guys have. This can be put on over a fire. It's a little stove. And this is the gas that runs the stove. And we have some hand warmers. That's all that's in this one. That's just all over the place. On this side, we have our fire kit, and we have our water kit, and another water purifier. And then on the other side, we have an Israel bandage, a small extra dry bag. Hygiene kit or bathroom kit, whatever you want to call it. And then, in the back, not that one, we have a solar charger. And then we've put in hydration bladders, camelbacks, whatever you want to call them. 
I have two liter ones that go in here. And that's it. Well, I hope you got something out of this today. I just wanted to give you guys a general overview of all the stuff that we carry to hopefully be self-sufficient for three days. Uh, I know I didn't open each thing and go through it. I figured that'd make a really long video. So we can break down certain things if you'd like. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you want me to go over first. And uh, let's get building yours. You guys stay safe and keep prepping. It just would have been way too long. Hi. Hi. What? What? You want in here? You want in here? Come on, get out of here. I don't know if we got enough stuff. Hmm. I gotta put all this away.